the final state Liberal government left in the country is on tenterhooks after the resignations of two of its MPs over concerns about the new AFL stadium in Hobart. The Tasmanian government is now in minority after both MPs aired concerns about the state debt and government transparency around the planned $715 million stadium. And they're not the only ones. Thousands of angry residents gathered on the lawns of Parliament House over the weekend to let the state government know their feelings, including independent federal senator Jackie Lambie. She had an eloquent message for, for the Premier. Have a listen. Tasmanians have had a bloody gutful over your stadium. And you can stick it up their bum. Now, the federal government has also copped a lot of flack for granting $240 million to the new stadium, but they were apparently won over by its business case, and that business case was the work of none other than Professor Tim Harcourt from UTS, host of The Airport Economist and author of Footynomics, The Economics of Sport. He joins me now. Uh, thank you for your time. Do you realise you've pretty much brought down or are about to bring down the Tasmanian government? Uh, explain yourself. Who thought, who knew that economics of sport could be so contentious? Well, I was asked today, would my <laughs> next trick be to bring down the, uh, or to split the Tasmanian Labor opposition? Because I understand three members may cross the floor to support the stadium and of course, there's David O'Byrne, the independent Labor MP and a very good footballer for Adelaide Uni. He may also vote with the government as well. So there's plenty going to be going on, Rita, I think, in Hobart in the parliament. Well, convince me, why should all this money, $240 million from the federal government, you've got $375 million from the Tasmanian state government, why should that public money be spent on this stadium? Well, Rita, poor old Tassie's been waiting 33 years, so 240 over 33 years is, is not very much. And even now, if you compare it to uh, the 3.8 bill going to Brisbane for the, for the Olympics and the Paralympics, then, you know, a, a, a Tassie team, you know, for the next 100 years, that's, uh, that's, that's, a, that's, a reason, that's a, uh, quite cheap, I think, if you consider the, the, the type of investment they can do in a, in a good footy state. Now, I do wonder, Tim, whether the opposition is purely political. Uh, in recent days, I've seen some uh, long-term campaigners for a Tasmanian team suddenly do a backflip. And, and I wonder whether bringing down the Tasmanian government is, is a bigger priority for some than having their own team. Yeah, look, I think it's bigger political risk for Beck White, the Tasmanian Labor opposition leader. I mean, to lose two elections in a row and then lose Tasmania, its team, after 33 years, that's you don't want to have that record. So uh, I think that's big risk. And a lot of people are under this impression that, oh, we just want a team playing at Bell Reeve in uh, York Park, but we don't want the stadium. Well, it's pretty clear uh, you don't support the stadium. You won't have a team. Uh, the AFL will, will take it off the table. So I think people have to really think what they're doing when they're campaigning against the, the precinct. It's not just a stadium, it's the whole arts uh, sport and uh, entertainment precinct, the whole piece of infrastructure, you campaign against that, you'll lose the money, you'll lose the $240 million, you'll lose the 360 mil from the AFL and you won't have a team. And uh, according to your analysis, uh, there's going to be a lot of money generated because of this stadium and, and Tasmania having its own team. We're talking about $2.2 billion over a certain number of years, a lot of construction jobs. Uh, uh, are all those figures kosher? Because, you know, you can make... Uh, you can make economic data do anything if you try hard enough. Well, my, my, my grandfather was a trainee rabbi uh, reader, so he knew all about things being kosher. All, all, I can, all, I can say is that, all I can say is that you've got the construction of the precinct. You're going to have the entertainment, the events, the, the conventions, the conferences, the concerts in the precinct. Uh, you'll have all those benefits. You saw with Gather Round in, in South Australia what a success that was. You saw in Perth with, uh, with Optus Stadium, Coldplay's, you know, sold out at its concerts. So I think... Tasmanians will see, once they have this precinct on the beautiful Hobart waterfront, they're going to see enormous benefits, not just in the construction, but a lot of the entrepreneurial activity that they'll have around Tasmania. It's a beautiful place, Hobart, and you can just see uh, the precinct adding so much value to the, to the whole state and particularly to the city. 
Well, I think you've sold me, Team Harcourt. That is a compelling case indeed. No wonder you are, <laughs> you've managed to do what some thought was impossible for Tasmania to have their own team. Uh, thank you so much for your time this evening.